Hello everyone, uh, this is uh, Subodh Sharma once again and uh, bringing to you another video on different uh, topics. If it's your first time out here, uh, let me just remind you that we at uh, Pink Wolf are focused on styling, grooming and uh, providing shaving tips. So today's topic is going to be around fundamentals of shaving and how to protect your skin. So, some time ago, um, as we were working through different formulations for you know, the different products that we have in terms of pre-shave oil, shaving cream and so on, uh, one of my good friends, uh, Mohit, he mentioned that men should cleanse every day, twice, that also. So I was like, that's too hard for me to believe that why should men cleanse uh, you know, your skin uh, every day, uh, that also twice. But as an experiment, I said, why, why not try it? Okay, I, I went, went from uh, plastic razors to metal razors about a couple of years ago. So why, why, why not try this method as well? So I did say that I want to try it. And uh, I was very skeptical of the whole process of cleansing twice a day. But I said, let's just give it a shot once. I will admit, I did cheat. I drank about 8 to 10 glasses of water every day. Um, and well, because you know, water keeps your uh, skin uh, supple and uh, is, is much, uh, you know, it, it helps you, uh, your skin become uh, glowy, so, so to say. Um, initially, it was very tough with the, the insurmountable number of visits I had to go to the bathroom and so on. But after a couple of weeks, uh, I think about two weeks or so, I realized it became a routine. So the skin care twice a day. Uh, cleansing uh, twice a day and then drinking water etc just became a routine and part of me. The impact of cleansing twice a day was very real and very profound as well and what I found was that the skin became supple, a lot more glowing all the time and imagine it that it became radiant. So all of these things you know you're drinking water eight to ten glasses or let's let's put it uh, as about three and a half four liters of water a day and cleansing once in the morning, once in the night. Now you've got to keep in mind that you want to cleanse with a non-alcoholic cleanser. The second one is you have to moisturize. Moisturization leads to the skin becoming a lot more supple, retaining and regaining its elasticity and so on. You want to do this again uh, in the morning and in the nighttime as well. And once again, try and avoid any alcohol in the moisture. There aren't many moisturizers like that available. But still, try and um, go for a moisturizer which, which uh, make your skin a lot more supple. Do that and you will see a change. Additionally, a good moisturizer will work on a spectrum of skin types. Whether you have a normal skin, a sensitive skin, a dry skin or um, an oily skin, it will help maintain the, a good mixture of water and balance as well. So that's, that's the part about cleansing and moisturizing. The, th the third element is scrubbing. You, you don't need to scrub every day, um, but you do need to make a Sunday morning ritual of uh, a scrub, a gentle scrub. And if you feel that you need to go a little bit deep down onto the second layer of skin, by all means, go ahead and do the um, hard scrub as well. The scrubbing on a weekly basis will allow the dead skin, the dry skin, everything to come off and bring out the radiance in, in, in your skin uh, out to the forefront. Once the scrub is done, trust me, on a, on a Sunday morning, you what you as a next step, what you want to do is generate a thick lather and shave to the most comfort that you can do that. Get plenty of sleep as well. Sleep time gives uh, the skin a chance to actually recover and rejuvenate. Once you do this, you'll be, you'll realize and start seeing the changes very soon after this. Now. Moving off topic a little bit, our skin is a mixture of oil and water. Absence or excess of either one of these leads to things like dry skin or oily skin or sometimes even sensitive skin. A good balance of oil and water leads to a normal skin. So one of the ways you can actually aspire towards a normal skin or if you have some other skin conditions um, is to drink 7 to 8 or maybe even 10 glasses of water, drinking let's say uh, 4 liters of water a day is going to keep your skin hydrated, uh, your body filled up with water and that has its own tangible benefit that you will start seeing over a long term period. So circling back to the topic of our video which is around shaving and healthy skin uh, tips, 
The summary for keeping your skin healthy are four of them. Cleansing, moisturization, um, scrubbing, and staying hydrated at all times. So once this is done, let's now move on to this ne next part, which is around shaving. So we talked about the summary of keeping your skin healthy. Now we're going to move on to the next part, which is the five step shaving process. So the first step in the five step shaving ritual is prepare. Prepare is very akin to preparing for a meeting, a presentation, a, me a date with your girlfriend or wife and so on. It's your skin that we're talking about, so you need to prepare. The way we recommend preparing for a shaving ritual is with a pre-shave oil. Um, at the first stage, we'll be introducing the pre-shave oil. In the second stage, we'll be introducing the pre-shave cream as well, which will help. Um, what, the purpose of the pre-shave oil and cream is that it helps the razor glide smoothly and comfortably across your skin. It also helps lubricate your skin. It, and that lubrication of the skin, what it does is, it enables the razor to cut through the skin and the follicles very cleanly without giving you any irritation or frustration or even nicks and cuts. It minimizes the nicks and cuts. So as an experiment, what I would recommend is try using a pre-shave oil for two weeks and then one day at the end of those two weeks, don't, don't use a pre-shave oil and just shave without the oil. And you will see, uh, you, you, you'll realize a stark difference between the two styles of shaving. And that's the benefit that will actually give you uh, by using a pre-shave oil. The second step is lather. Okay. Now here, um, I have many friends and they use a lot of uh, you know different items like shaving foams and shaving gels. What I would recommend is using a good quality shaving cream or shaving soap, coupled with an even better quality shaving brush. There are tangible benefits of using a good quality shaving brush. You want to use a brush that absorbs water, that does not repel it. Some of the cheap ones in the market, they repel water, so it, doesn't, it does your skin no good. The ones who absorb water are the ones which, when mixed with a good quality shaving cream or soap, helps generate the lather. That lather should, be, should have a quality of you can actually generate the lather on a shaving brush and keep it on the table for about 20 minutes, it should not fall off. That's how thick, luxurious uh, lather should be generated from the uh, good quality shaving cream or uh, shaving soap. The third element of the five step shaving process is the sh actual art of shaving. Um, here, I'll be honest with you, um, I, I know many people would be using uh, disposable uh, razors or plastic razors with three blades or five blades or even more and so on and so forth. Um, you will not realize the full impact or the tangible benefits of the five step sh shaving process by using any of those razors. What I'm talking about is using one of these old uh, razors. These are double edge uh, razors. and. Uh, they come in uh, different types, closed comb and open comb and so on, but they're beautiful. Um, the oldest one that I have in, in my possession is about eight years. The second one is about seven years and so on. So, I mean, at this point, I have uh, many razors, but that, that's not the point of how many razors I have. The point is, these razors use a single uh, blade. That blade cuts through the, the follicles very cleanly and very, and very smoothly. What happens when you talk about the price is that the price of these blades is very cheap. It's not uh, too, too expensive. But what happens, what I've seen with my friends is that when they use one of those high expensive three blade or five blade um, uh, razors, because the cost is so high, they want to use till the blade is completely dead, dead beyond dead. Okay. And uh, which means that you're using the same blade either for two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, and in some instances, maybe even six weeks. That allows a lot of other things, which you can't clean the blade, like dirt, bacteria, etc., to come and creep in. These blades, you can use them for three shaves, five shaves, it won't cost you uh, too much, and you can throw the blade off of that. But what's going to remain with you is your investment in the razor itself. Using Multiple blade cartridges or razors um, is, is not a good thing. Um, a, because you can't clean it, you have to throw it away, it's, it's bad for the environment and so on and so forth. But the main thing is that 
because you're trying to justify value for money you're trying to go uh, you use the same blade again and again again and again again and again so many times and that's what actually leads to the irritated skin that's what leads start leading to the dry skin that's what leads start uh, you know leads to the nicks and cuts and the reason i can say that with conviction is because i was one of you guys a couple of years ago and that's the reason i shifted to a traditional razor over here and i haven't looked back ever since the act of shaving itself is very simple well, uh, an ideal shave consists of two passes what i mean by that is you apply the lather to your face and the first pass goes from top to bottom okay so everything comes down with with the grain not against the grain not against, sideways except just with the grain you're clearing off the major follicles the second pass is where you apply the lather once again to your face and then you start sh shaving either sideways or against the against the grain depending on what the face map is what your uh, whiskers growth is you know, so sometimes many people have uh, um, uh, against uh, some people have sideways and so on so that's, that's something you figured out with experience what i would tell you is that you need to while you do the first two passes you need to develop the technique to use these razors and uh, they are to be held at a particular angle usually around 30 degrees could be 35 as well but most more more most of the time it is around uh, 30 degrees once you get the technique right and once you start using the first pass with the grain and the second pass sideways or against the grain you're fine you're set for a good shaving ritual once you have shaved we go on to the fourth step in the shaving and the five step shaving process which is moisturization now before you start applying the moisture um, what, I, what, I, what I would recommend is um, clean your face completely of all the debris and the shaving lather remove it with cold water cold water will allow all the debris and all the lather that has accumulated on your face to be cleaned away close your pores and therefore allow the moisturization to take effect in terms, of, in terms of moisturization, try and avoid the alcoholic products or lotions, etc. And I would go only for an aftershave balm for normal or sensitive skin, an aftershave lotion for dry skin, because uh, people who have uh, dry skin, the lotion has added ingredients, which makes the dry skin a lot more supple and a lot more normal. And the last one is an aftershave gel for the oily skin that will allow the oil and water mixture to be completely balanced so that brings to an end the shaving uh, ritual which is the fourth step but hang on before we move on let's talk about the fifth one which we never as actually never seem to talk about remember we talked about the healthy skin in the first instance cleansing moisturizing scrubbing and also remaining hydrated men and women alike we all step outside the fifth step and the most important part is protection protecting your skin from the elements which is uh, sunlight and even wind now you're ready to step outside of your house whether it's a sunday stroll through the local marketplace or you're going to your work you need to apply sunscreen or you need to apply a moisturizer which has sunscreen abilities or properties added to it SPF 15, SPF 30, this range usually works, SPF 50 could be an overkill, but I think 15 to 30, that pretty much works for everyone. Action. The sunscreen can be added as one of two choices. You can add it on top of the aftershave, balm, lotion or gel, or you can just apply it straight to your face after shaving and once you're ready to step out of the house. So high level summary we talked about the five steps in the shaving uh, ritual first being preparation second being lather third is shaving fourth is moisturization and the fifth one most important is the protection now you need to follow them as a ritual it, it, it needs to become a part of you it needs to become a discipline that you can act and follow on a, on a daily basis because all of these combined together with the cleansing, the moisturization, uh, the scrubbing and the, uh, and the staying hydrated is going to give you the skin that you're looking for in terms of suppleness, radiance and softness. You can't complain 
that you have a dry skin or hard skin or irritated skin or skin that is cut all the time or has neck suffers from necks all the time if you don't follow any of these uh, steps these guys is based on experience and i'm telling you it actually works so here's the both signing off and hope to see you once again in the near future with another video